my name is Eileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist, and this is what evidence there is that there is a supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. So uh, this is becoming more and more of a strong uh, theory. So the, the thing is that we predicted uh, back in time that the center of a galaxy is probably something that is being powered by something that is very gravitationally um, effective. So something that had a really large gravitational power and also very massive. The objects after we discovered black holes and black holes was treated, um, it seemed to point out that the best candidate for this object was to be a black hole. So they started to do a lot of uh, studies of the center of our galaxy since it's the closest thing we have. So when we look at the galactic center and we look at a tiny, tiny piece of the sky, in fact, it's uh, five arc seconds, which is a very small piece of the sky, we have something called Sagittarius A, and we generally call it Sag A. Um, and what we see here is an enormous radio source. So we see a lot of radio frequencies coming from this little part, which is a, a high characteristic of black holes. So whenever a black hole is sort of being fed, like some mass is being uh, going into the black hole, it, it gets superheated and it gets like ejected as this massive radio waves. Uh, so we see a lot of radio. Uh, so we see this as this giant radio source. And what happens is we also see a pulsating, which is also a very typical characteristic of a black hole. Like these jets are not stationary, they kind of just pulsate. So we also see pulses. Now, the other thing is um, a lot of people at UCLA, there is a team that is looking for the proper motions of the stars near the supermassive black hole. And what they've seen is that the stars that are really close to this area, this zone, have very large proper motions. And proper motion is kind of what we see that start moving. Now, imagine something that is really far away. And if it moves, you're not going to see it from that distance. It's not going to appear that it's moving so much. If it's closer to you, you see it move a lot. But if it's far away from you, that distance doesn't seem so large. Now, this is fairly far away. This is 26 light years away. Um, and we still see these motions to be very large, which means that there is a, they're moving a lot. They're moving very fast from side to side, which can be only explained if there is a large gravitational influence on the stars. So we see these large proper motions. And these are some of the evidence that, that we've seen that there's a supermassive black hole in the center of our galaxy. Now, when we also study other galaxies like M87, maybe you can read about this, um, we also see this radio source. So it's not unique. This evidence is not unique to our galaxy. It seems to be that most galaxies are powered this way. My name is Eileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist. And this is what is the evidence that we actually have a supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy.